Hello everyone and welcome back to a very special Sport E with one of our favourites, the lovely Ellie Cole. Welcome. Hi, great to be back. Ellie, congratulations on everything you achieved at the Paralympics. Now, last time we spoke, you were preparing to go to Tokyo. Tell us, how were those crazy weeks in Tokyo? It was incredible. Um, stepping into the Athletes' Village for the first time, seeing people from other countries, um, seeing live sport once again, um, and just seeing how the organising committee were, you know, arranging the games around COVID. You know, every morning we had to wake up and spit in a tube for a COVID test, which was an interesting experience. <laughs> but it was, the, it was the best experience I've ever had in my life. And I just kept sitting there thinking, I am so lucky that this has happened. You were chosen to be our flag bearer for the closing ceremony of the Paralympics. Um, tell me about the moment that they surprised you with that news. It was so wonderful for me to be able to represent my team, like being the flag bearer for the closing ceremony. And before I left for the venue, they did this like guard of honor for me. And I, I got to give everybody on my team like a high five. And I will <laughs> never forget like holding the flag and then looking behind me and seeing like my whole team lining up in two lines. And as I walked off, like they just started doing the Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. And I was like, wow, this is the best experience. And it was like the most game, like life changing night I've ever had. I was so proud of just like everything that we had been through. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? For me, what I really want to see is that everybody just given an equal opportunity. Being a Paralympian, I've, I've felt like I've, I've played a small role in, in bringing equal rights to people through sport. But the great thing is anyone can become an advocate. Anybody can be involved in trying to make the world a better place. Um, and so for me, I think the legacy that I want to leave is that I always just tried to leave the world in a better place. I did a um, campaign for This Little Girl Is Me. The whole premise of it is to empower younger girls or women of, of any age um, mm -hmm. just to like look at inside yourself and look back at who you were when you were younger and like where you've come from and how far you've come and celebrate how great that is. Let's talk about your quarantine time when you came back to Australia. Now, I actually was following along with your documentary workout and I did one the other day. Did you? I don't know if I'll be doing that again because I was bloody hard. Yeah, but I think you need to remember that I am a professional athlete and I work, <laughs> I work in a sport where we push our bodies so hard and we hold our breath at the same time. So my lungs are pretty good and my heart's pretty strong. And I probably should have recognised that when I was creating the videos for, I don't want to say people like you, but people like you. <laughs>